about the pattern or not understanding me and I was really rushed. It's been very busy. So let me go through it again. You're going to cut a piece of fabric that's 9 by 17. 9 by 17. The long size uh, 9 and then the other, or 9 and 17. Anyway, 9 by 17. Where you're going to do your next step is to go to the ironing board and you are going to fold over a quarter of an inch on the length on both sides. Then you're going to fold over a quarter on the top and then a double fold over again. Once you do that, it will look like this. You've got your quarter single fold over, you've got your other quarter, and you have a double which creates a casing. And you only need to go a quarter of an inch fold and a quarter of an inch fold. At this point, this is what it should look like, okay? Now what you're going to do is go to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch all along this line and all along this line. Once you're done with that, you can take your pipe cleaner. Now see, we've got it stitched here and we have it stitched here. Do not worry about stitching this just yet. You'll be stitching that once you fold it over. You're gonna take a pipe cleaner and I've changed the directions on the pipe cleaner. This is gonna be much easier. You put your pipe cleaner inside your casing. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this over. You're going to go back and you cut all your little strings to get them out of the way if you want. So then you're gonna go back to your sewing machine and you're gonna be ready to sew this down the edge. But what you wanna do is start preparing for either your elastic. This is one quarter braided elastic. See that one quarter inch braided elastic. If you don't have elastic, you can use a ribbon. So your elastic, when you cut it, will be 10 inches, 10 inches in length. If you cut a ribbon, you're gonna cut 30 inches per side. So you'll need a total of 60 inches because these will end up being tied in the back of the head. Whereas these with the elastic will go around the ear. And I'm gonna show you now how you attach a bead so that they can be adjusted per head because the distance from ear to ear for everybody is different. So what you're going to do is take, see I had elastic here, take a 10 inch piece of elastic. You're gonna take a pony bead. These are pony beads, you get them in the kids craft section at uh, uh, any store basically. Michaels is notorious for having them. You can get them in any color. Doesn't matter what color your ribbons are or anything, just put them on there. So you're gonna put one on there and you can easily see that you can get that on there, but you're not gonna be able to get the other one on when you have two pieces of elastic that need to go through. So here's a little trick for you. Where'd I do it? Get one of your pipe cleaners, fold it in half like this, and string on some beads over the end of the pipe cleaner like this. See that? You're gonna have this hole here. You take your elastic that you put the single pony bead on, you put it in this loop here, don't have to put it very far, and you push down your beads. You just need one to hold it there. Can you see that? So now what you're going to do is pull that through. And then you release that out of there. And now you have your elastic to where it can be adjusted, tightened, loosened per this bead here. And this bead here is to secure the bead for not falling off. See that? All right, so now that you know how to get your pony beads on your elastic and make your elastic adjustable, I'll put this aside and show you. Your options are either elastic or ribbon. So let's show you right now what you would do. You have this uh, pipe cleaner on the front side. And what I would do is I would take this over to the machine and a half an inch from the bottom, I would start sewing in this direction towards your pipe cleaner and then stop. 
and do the same on this side. Once you get that, because you want to leave a half an inch here, a half an inch here on both all four corners because you're going to want to attach your elastic or your ribbon. Go back to the ironing board and at this point, find your front. The front will be the one that has the pipe cleaner on it. You go up about a half, one and a half inches and make a fold downward. And we're looking at the front now. Then you're going to iron that down and then you'll make another fold. And you can just kind of eyeball it. And then you're gonna make one more fold. So you're gonna make three folds. And I'm doing this without it being ironed so it wants to pop up, but just bear with me. So you see that? You're going to have one fold, two fold, three fold there. You iron that down nice and strong and then it will look like this. Here's one that was done. It's stitched. You can see the reason why there's another color here is because we had scrap material. We didn't want to waste this piece of material so what we did is we used um, pillowcases or sheets and we added additional material. But anyway, so here it is once it's folded and ironed, just like this. All right, it's been ironed and now you have a little casing here and you have at the bottom. You can take your elastic, slide your elastic in the casing. I guess I should be wearing my glasses, but whatever. Slide them in there. Here, let me get some glasses on. All right, so put your um, elastic in the little casing. Sometimes I put like a pin or something in there just to open up that hole, but there it is. Now I can kind of feel it right about here, and that's where you want it because you're going to want to stitch over this twice. So I would take it to the machine at this point, and going towards it, I would put my um, needle and my press the foot down about here and I would go in this direction until I go over this and then I don't know what type of machine you can back stitch it here or just leave it alone because you're going to come back again anyway then you turn it around and then you're going to do the same over here you're going to put this in the little casing and I'm trying to give you as clear directions as possible and I can see that the, yeah, the she is. elastic comes all the way to here. And so now you have it both. So I would take my presser foot, put it here, and I'd stitch all the way down here, back stitch it here. And then you could turn it around and stitch it all the way over there. So you have two stitchings here. That's going to secure your... Um, your uh, elastic if you're going to do the ribbon you're going to be doing the exact same thing the only difference is is that you have this hanging out here and that's going to be held back around the head this piece and the other piece will come together and they will just simply tie it around their head to the to the um, tightness that they want and that'll do it elastics really hard to find right now but I wanted to tell you also is that this was the old way that I was doing it where I was folding the pipe cleaner and putting it inside there. And it's just, we've got hundreds of these that we're trying to make and that's just taking too much time. So what we're doing on this one, once it's folded and what ready to, to, to be stitched along the way, take a wire cutter or if you have a scissor that you don't care about and that's pretty tough, cut your pipe cleaner off just a little on the inside of the fabric right here so it's not sticking out cut it there and then when you stitch over that there should be enough fabric and your um, elastic that covers that and cut that off and then you won't even have that and then the people will not feel the poke of the wire if you want you can always take a little needle nose plier and you can turn it in but you don't want people being poked by the wire. So I hope I explained that clearly enough. If you have any questions at all, call me at 253-720-8562. Here's a finished one here. Here's the front. Has the, the 
the um, pipe cleaner in there and you can see where it's in there. You've got two stitches going across and you have the adjustable ear um, holders. And there you go, you have a complete mask. As you can see, there's pocket here for those people that wanna put a filter in there. Uh, people are saying that um, air filters from Home Depot or some people are even talking about vacuum um, uh, bag. Uh, they're cutting up vacuum bags with the HEPA filters and putting those in there. But anyway, these are completely washable. And like I said, if you have any questions, 253-720-8562. Uh, if I can answer any questions at all, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, we're busy here today, and we'll be busy here tomorrow. And um, I don't know, we've got several hundreds. And what's that? The material. Material. Oh, the material you use is 100% cotton. It must be a dense cotton. And remember, it has to be something that people can breathe through. So 100% um, cotton. The material must be like a... a a um, sheet or pillowcase material it can be like a t-shirt material too that's a little harder to work with here we're using some really wonderful fabrics they're all 100 percent cotton and um, we're taking uh, masks to tacoma children's hospital to to tg harrison in bremerton uh, we have uh, care let's see rest care in ellensburg Manor Care Gig Harbor, um, and I've got a list of other hospitals that are needing these. So if you know of a care facility that is in need of these, um, we would be happy to donate what we can. We are not uh, selling these to the private or donating them to the private sector, but if you would like to donate something, whether it be material um, or, or money towards this effort, uh, just give me a call. Be happy to take whatever you can give, or if you want to help sew, uh, we would love to have you do that because this is a lot of work. And we're happy to do it, and we're happy to help those out, fellow humans out there that need a little more protection than we do here at home. All right, thank you, and uh, thanks for all your help out there. We as humans and people can work together, and many hands, say hi, this is my work crew hi. here. We're working. Um, by working together, oh, there's Blanca, yeah. By working together, <laughs> we can make a difference. So anybody, everybody, uh, happy sewing, and keep uh, doing the work. We've got to help each other. Thank you.